Good morning, Code Simplifier Tribes. Bess from Code Simplifier Coding School is here with another video in CHI series. In our last two videos, we've learned how to validate a name, phone, and how to check if the field is blank or not. Before we moving on for today's work, we need to make a few changes to our code. Here are the changes which needs to be addressed. We need to get rid of the order ID because this information is irrelevant to our project and we don't really need it. Also, we need to make the GST amount and total cost to read only. That means the customer or the client is not able to modify those prices. And if you are wondering what GST stands for, GST stands for good and service, good and service taxes which is 10% above the original invoice amount. Let's fix those and move on to our today's work. We want to go to our XAML file, find the order ID box and its text, then delete it. How are we going to go to our XAML file? So on your right hand side tab, you can find your solution explorer. If there is not there, go to your view on the tab on top, left hand corner. And here is your solution explorer. Then we need to find our XAML, main page XAML file. Uh, let's minimize that one. And here is our XAML file. So you have two options. Either you need to scroll down and find it itself, or I'll show you how to search. You just click somewhere in your XAML file. Hold on your control F to find. And we are looking for order ID. And here is the order ID box. So get rid of that one. Before you want to delete it, Let's comment it out and see if that is the stack panel we are looking for. You just select everything. Hold on control K and C and save your work. So that will comment out your stack panel. So now let's restart our application. As you can see, the order ID has gone. So that means we selected the right stack panel. So we have another two choices. Either we can get rid of it completely and delete it or leave it as comment out. I will leave it as a comment out for now in case we need it later on to use it again. So that is solved. Now let's move on to make the GST box and the total amount box read only. In our XAML file, we need to have another search. We search for GST. It takes us to GST stack panel. We need to make the text box add this property is read only and we set the value to true so that means no one can add information to that box we do the same thing for total amount here is our stack panel total total box after the name we add is read only and we set that one to true save your work close the search window restart the application and see if everything works with no issue as you can see we are able to add information into our name phone and order cost but not the gst amount and total cost and that means everything works just fine for now the next we are going to set the autofocus to order cost once the client inserted a valid name and a phone number the autofocus improves the user experience of our application. Right. Let's go back to our chash file and find the calculate method. The calculate method was the place where we validated the client's name and the phone right. number. We are inside our calculate button method. Here are our iterations. Let's collapse them. Uh, if, else if, else if, and else if. So below our last else if is where we check if the customer phone number includes digits only and is a 10 digit. We are going to call the our order box, order cost box, and we set the focus to focus state to programmatic and save your work. Here we Before insert we a name, a phone number, and when we press a calculate, the focus goes to the order cost. Later on, we are going to develop another condition to check if the order cost field is empty or is a wrong, val a wrong value 
that is nothing we are need to be worried about right now. Next, we are going to move on and handle our reset button. To auto-generate the reset method, stop the application, go to XAML file and double click on the reset button. By doing so, you will get the method in the CH file as well as added on-click event in your XAML file too. Let's check it out and see how it works. So let's stop our application, close this. Now the actual application will be shown in your XAML file. I am in my XAML file. Double click on the reset button. And by doing so, this is the method has been auto-generated for you. Cut it and paste it below your end calculate button. As per usual, we are going to add our method. So it's going to be start, reset, button click. Copy this at the end of the last Kelly bracket. And we add end, save. And we go back to our XAML file. And here is the reset button. And this is the click button has been auto-generated by Visual Studio for you. So we're going back to our reset button. And here is where we are going to handle the name, the phone, and the order cost of phone now. And as I mentioned before, we are going to add more details to our reset button click. So basically, when the client is going to press the reset button, we want to get rid of the name, phone number, and order ID, and any other information we might have. To be honest with you all, handling the reset button is very easy. We need to call the fields, in our case the name, phone and so on, and set the current value to empty strings or uncheck them. So I am within our reset button method. So we are going to call the customer name box dot text equals to empty string customer phone box dot text is going to be equals to empty string and order cost box dot text is going to be empty string too. That's it. So pretty much whatever the value they have, once we press this method, we want to get rid of those values and set them to empty strings in this case then we are going to make the autofocus goes back to the customer name as well. So we are going to say customer name box dot focus and focus state. It's going to be programmatic and save the work. So you can avoid this last step too. I just added just for now to see how it does work. So let's run our application and see how it works. Great. I am going to enter the name here, the phone number, or the cost, and whenever we press the reset button, you see the information or the values has been deleted and the autofocus went back to the customer name. So that shows our reset button and whatever the method or the block of code within that method, it works fine with no issue. Handling the reset button is going to bring us to the end of today's video. Just a reminder, we are going to add more statements to the reset button as we are going along the way. As per usual, if you have any concerns or are stuck at some point, let me know in the comments section below and I will do my best to help you out. Also, if you are new in our channel and today's video was helpful, could you please do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to our channel. By liking and subscribing to our channel, you are giving us confidence and motivation to create more educational video like what you watch today and share them with others. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you all next time.